Hi students. Today we are going to learn the first chapter in our biology text. I hope you have watched my earlier video regarding neuron. This will be a continuation of that class. Before starting my class, I would like to ask you a question. Do you know what are the features of human beings that differentiate him from other organism? The main feature is the well-developed brain. I am going to teach you about the structure and function of brain. All of you look at the picture. Our brain protected inside the skull. Do you know how many layers covering our brain? It is covered by meninges, a three-layered membrane. Inside this, there is a fluid called cerebrospinal fluid. How is it formed? It is formed from blood and reabsorbed in the blood. What is the function of cerebrospinal fluid? There are three functions. Protect the brain. Provide nutrients and oxygen to the tissues of the brain. Regulate the pressure inside the brain. Let us study about the structure and function of the brain. All of you look at the picture. Which part is the largest one? Okay, cerebrum is the largest part of the brain. Numerous fissure and folds are seen. The grey outer part is called cortex. Inner part is called medulla. Major three functions. First function of cerebrum is control voluntary movements. Voluntary movements are those which can be controlled by us. For example, movement of hand, leg, etc. Second function is evoke sensation. That means function of sense organ. Third function, center of thought, intelligence, memory and imagination. Which is the second largest part of the brain? Cerebellum. Where is it situated? It's seen behind the cerebrum. Function of cerebellum. There are two functions. First one, coordinate muscular activities. Second one, maintain equilibrium of the body. That means balance of the body. All of you look at medulla oblongata. What is its shape? It is rod shape. Where is it seen? It is seen below the cerebrum located near the cerebellum. And function is control involuntary action. That means heartbeat, breathing, etc. Medulla oblongata control Involuntary actions like heartbeat, breathing, etc. Thalamus below the cerebrum act as relay station of impulses to and from the cerebrum. Analyzes impulses from various parts of the body and sends the importance ones to the cerebrum. Thalamus function is the relay station of impulses to and from the cerebrum. Hypothalamus. Where is it situated? It is situated below the thalamus. And function is maintenance of homeostasis. That means maintain internal stability. In an organism. I tell you one example for homeostasis. 
Humans internal body temperature is a great example of homeostasis. When you get shiver in the cold, sweat in summer, that is your body trying to maintain homeostasis. Let us do some activities. First one, draw the picture of brain and label the parts. Second question, relay station of impulses. Third question, maintain homeostasis. Which part of the brain helps to maintain homeostasis? Next question. Function of medulla oblongata. And next question. Structural and functional difference between cerebrum and cerebellum.